So street photography, which shouldn't do much for you, but excite you and lead to these other opportunities. Now on the 12th, off we go to India. Zach, here's this camera. Take it. Go to India. We're going to send you there. So full disclosure, Fuji has hired me to take this camera, go shoot with it, and tell them what I think. And what I love about Fuji is you were very honest about our X100, our baby, our everything, and you talked about all the things you didn't like about our baby. Your baby's ugly, you know? Well, will you look at our next baby? <laughs> tell us if it's any prettier. It's a lot prettier. <laughs> all right. Um, so let's go ahead and bring the master up. So I've had this X-Pro1 now for about a week. And uh, the other day, I went location scouting with Joe McNally, and Light just follows him. He just <laughs> steps out of the car. And Light follows Joe McNally. Um, this is Gregory Heisler fat boothing Joe and showing him, the, you know that little app, Fat Booth? So he's like, Joe, Joe, come here. Let me take this picture of you. And he processes it. He turns it around. And um, we had uh, the GPP opening event. And I'm running around taking pictures. The, 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 the focus is faster. The ISO is amazing. Um, there's Claire hanging out. And then I went down to the creek and the souks and just walking around with this little camera. Um, this is from a marble factory where we'll be on location on Thursday. The workers' gloves. The macro detail is amazing. Um, this is one of the guys that works there in the marble factory. Hopped on an Iranian shipping vessel, like you do, you know. Hi, can I come take your picture? Huh? Pictures. I liked the composition. I loved the two AC units. I loved the little, you know, bed for rent signs. And I just, eh, it needs something. It needs a person. Picture, 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 picture. <laughs> so then I started teaching this week, and I'm like, let's put, hey, 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 hey. She's right here. And let's see how this does in class. And you know what? It's so funny. This camera really isn't out yet in the world, but there are four million posts on photography forums about it already. Well, you know, I've seen that the blah, 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 and, and I... I saw a YouTube video at CES, and someone said, and it's just this. I've, I've seen people go so far as to say, Fuji has shot themselves in the foot. This is going to be a dead on arrival camera, blah, 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 blah. And I pull this camera up. I go, hey, stand right there. That's awesome. Click. <laughs> Whatever. Quit com you, you just keep complaining. This camera is amazing. And I've had people on Twitter say, well, how's it do with flash and lighting and stuff like that? awesome. It is a camera, you know, so it's doing good. It's taking pictures. It's got a hot shoe. You know what I love about this camera? Keep this up so there's no flash on it. You can't take bad on-camera flash pictures because it's not on there. How's it work in the studio? Had a studio class today. Let's shoot in here. The model said, that is such a cool camera. What is that? It's fast, it's responsive, I can get that motion when I need it. Okay, all right, but, 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 but I want to see the detail. <sighs> Are you kidding me? Out of this little itty bitty 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 tiny thing, this, this, I'd put it up against my 5D, especially in the studio. I'd totally put it up against my 5D. 